I cool? think Suleiman, you know, tried to do the best he could for me in terms of getting me prepared to fight for his belt. I think, um, you know, at this point, it's just you know, all a matter of what Keith wants to do. You know, and then after that, uh, you know, uh, Suleiman has a decision to make. Hey, but they got some solid. You as well. <laughs> Definitely could come to my weight division and enjoy some of this riches and gold. We got it for y'all, but you know, you know, I love your pops a lot. It's crazy, but we do have some cash at 54. Now, Badu, you stay your ass away. <laughs> Shit. You better come to heavyweight room and fight me. <laughs> hey, after your, after your last performance. Me and my dad, we turned each other, we said, and then we turned back to the ring. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And my, and my, right. Always, always. And, and my dad is like that. Oh, my. Just like, that was him. And it was a dad, bro, all the time. But, but it, it, yeah, both of y'all, though. Both of y'all, I, I can't take that away from you. Thank you for supporting me, bro. But like I said, you come get this money at 54. Definitely. So, so congratulations to you, big dog. Yeah. Do you think that'll be in your future, 154? I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, you know, obviously, when we moved down to 47, we, we went there for you know, a number of reasons. I just don't feel like my uh, I'm not satisfied yet. I just, I'm, I'm not satisfied yet, and I, and I know how my heart is when, I, when I'm not satisfied. I, when I move on, it ain't the same. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's going to beyond boxing. There's things that I've done, and I move forward without taking care of that the way I wanted to or the way it should have been taken care of. And it's like I got to go back and get that done. But I want to get done. You know, the, these, these titles, they sometimes create other titles where you wait with an interim yeah. or some I'm sort of... You've seen that, that with me. Yeah. Silver belt, you know, and I oh, took buddy. it home and I'm looking at it like, it's <laughs> ain't the same, you know what I mean? So, you know, y'all try to please me with this, but, you know, I want the real girl. What do you think about uh, Canelo Triple G, the rematch, and what did you think of the first fight? I thought the first fight was great. Those guys went in there and put it down. They were banging 12 rounds. Uh, I had a close decision for uh, Triple G. I think going back at it, I, I think that Canelo will be a little bit sharper and win the, win the second. Yeah. Did you have it clear for Triple G? Because some people were like, I didn't have a it clear. Robbery, I didn't or? have it clear. There was maybe two or three rounds throughout the, throughout the, throughout the fight that I was like, that could go either way, you know, but trying to, you know, play the devil's advocate and just name one winner, you know, I, you know swayed uh, Triple G's direction um, for a number of reasons, mostly because of his aggression throughout the fight. But, I mean, let's, let's not get in mistaken at all. Um, Canelo seems to be hitting with every jab that he threw. And so I, I think the rematch is going to revolve around Canelo using his jab and setting up everything else from there. If Triple G can't get, can't get out of the way of that jab, or make Canelo uncomfortable about throwing the jab, and it's going to be a long night again. Okay. And titles aside, there's a lot of talent at welterweight. Mm -hmm. Taking yourself aside, how do, you, how do you rate the different fighters that are there right now? Uh, I say Keith is, is I know. kind of right now. Oh, you're telling me this is just a belt? You're telling me this is just a belt? I like the belt. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. Jeff, I'm sorry. Jeff, who we... Uh, who we have all been surprised and shocked about uh, is still up there. Um, I'll put him at the end of the line, to be honest with you. You know, talking about Jeff Horn, he's going to be fighting Crawford. What do you make of Crawford moving up? Even though he's top ranked, you know, different thing. But he's moving how, up. How this is the perfect fight for him to move up to. I think. Um, I think that uh, you know you'll see a lot against Joe Jeff Horn um, with Terence Crawford that you didn't see with him another fighter with the, with Manny Pacquiao. Uh, I think uh, Crawford is sharper, he's longer, rangier, and it looks like he's stronger at this point too. And, um, momentum is completely been on, on Terence's side. It seems like it's since he turned pro. You know what I mean? So ever since he popped up on the scene, on, on the big scene, he's been nothing but head, head straight forward uh, uphill. You know so. Um, I think it's going to be a great fight, but uh, I don't think it's going to even go the distance with, with Terrence Pops. Hey, uh, Brother Jack, um, you just got your belt there. Yeah. How, how do you feel having that title? How do you feel preparing to uh, to defend it? No, this is not my belt. This is not my belt. You're going to be fighting uh, uh, 
Stevens. Adonis uh, Stevenson. Hopefully, you know, you know the titles in your thing. How, how, do you, how do you see the preparation for the fight? How do you see your play? Uh, preparation is going to be good. Um, already, you know, I'm training all year round. I'm always going to be out. But, uh, training camp. What makes it, what make, coming from a guy like yourself, big, strong guy. Right now, maintain.